Let's get serious. What is going on, everybody? Nice love, Roy Slugs here, and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. In this video, I am going to be talking about the police. Not the band, not the group, the police, the actual police, um, and how to make them better in our uh, in our country, and how to deal with um, police brutality in this country. Cause it's, it's a really fucked up system right now. Um, basically, right now, the 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 way that the the reason why the police are so fucked up. And why bad shit happens, essentially, is because of the training that the police are given. Um, the way the police are trained right now is the main reason and the main cause as to why a lot of this shit happens. And I'll, I'll talk about um, that in a minute. Um, the, the police are trained in a way to where it's almost inevitable that innocent people will get shot. Especially when you mix jumpy young people, jun jumpy young people that want to be cops and have power um, power issues, want to be power more more powerful than other people because they have a gun. Um, mix that with the training of, hey, if anybody even looks at you wrong, you pull a gun on them and shoot them because. You know, you can't take a chance with your life because you're a cop and you're more important than everybody else. You mix those two things together with, uh, you know, you sprinkle in a little racism in there because most of the time the people that are getting shot are African Americans and minority groups. Um, and and you've, you've got a, a big problem on your hands. Um, obviously the racism problem cannot really solve itself. Like... That's an issue that will probably continue to persist until we we find some kind of benevolent artificial intelligence that can can you know rewire everybody's brains to not be racist. That's not a thing that can be fixed. What can be fixed is um, the police training and the way that cases are looked at. Um, if you look at um, uh, cases like Philando Castile and um, things like that where young black disproportionately young black men are being murdered in their cars when they get pulled over just because they got pulled over the the cop pulled the gun on them for no reason other than the fact that they wanted to pull a gun on them because of a number of factors like I said before probably racism and more than likely the training the training is the biggest thing that people can fix and that needs to be changed to basically back to what it used to be, to protect and serve. Like, the, the police are supposed to protect and serve us. We, as the people, are the bosses of the police. We get to tell them what to do. They don't get to tell us what to do. That's that's kind of how it works. That's kind of how the, the police system works, is that we get to tell them how they operate. And they reciprocate by protecting us. That, that's how it works. What it is right now is they tell us what to do and we go along with it because we don't want to get shot. That's not protection, that's enforcement and that's bullying and that's not okay. Um, we, we've militarized our police with tanks in some in some cases, not tanks, but not, not like Abrams tanks, but like, you know, troop transports. Um, you know, Assault rifles. It's, it's it's a problem, uh, for sure. When when that much militarization goes into police, and like I said before, you get young people with a power complex, sprinkling some racism. People want to control people, and you've got a big problem on your hands. That is is not something that can be fixed unless you fix the training and then the, the training needs to be fixed to to protect and serve um you know the police has not always been great even when it was protect and serve because you know that was back in the 50s and you know we, we all know how racist the 50s were um <laughs> uh, but th th this needs to be fixed it, it's 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 not gonna 
it's not going to fix itself. It's going to continue to be to be bad, and there's going to continue to be shootings as long as um, as long as the police are told, "Hey, you can shoot anybody, and you can get away with it." The amount of police that are able to shoot innocent people and get away with it is just mind blowing. Um, I I just I every day I see, oh this uh. This cop shot this unarmed black guy in, in a, in a, you know, in his car or when he was walking home from, from the, the convenience store with some Skittles. That wasn't a cop, though, but same basic principle I'm applying here. Um, and, you know, he got shot because racism. Um, and it's just it's not... It's not okay, all right. <laughs> Fucking, we need to change the society, and we need to change the um, the training for police. Um, I feel the same way about the military as well. You know, the military needs to be protecting force, not an offensive force. I think I've already made a video on the military as well, but you know, it's the same thing. It needs to be a protection force, not an offensive force. And I think that's the biggest thing to take away from it so anyway i've rambled on long enough i'm gonna go ahead in the video there so thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you did and i'll see you guys later bye bye we're winning this fight Threat neutral. Concussion out! Going explosive! 